It's completely different to driving a new car. A new car, you, you get in and you don't think you're probably somewhere else. Whereas with this car, it's, I guess it just makes me feel very present. I just feel very connected to it. You could say it's very visceral. You can see and feel everything. You hear the engine, you smell, <laughs> you smell this, you know, it's a, just a, an air-cooled car and it's just very familiar. I saw a Carmen Gear with this little old lady, barely looking over the steering wheel. I struck up a conversation with the lady, we started chatting, and became friends with this lady, and through her I met Wolfgang, who had been servicing her car for over 40 years. He started working for Volkswagen back in the 50s. We became great friends. He's a fountain of knowledge, anything air-cooled. Through our friendship and faith, realizing I actually had the passion for old V dubs, that's what made it become mine. I feel like there's a bit of humor involved in the birth of the Carmen Gear because someone at the factory said, come on guys, let's build a sports car, but let's make it really slow. <laughs> so it's kind of funny. They decided to build something very elegant, very sporty, very aerodynamic, but give it a relatively small engine. For the time, you could say it was sporty, not fast, but if you looked at anything else around in 1960, it got along okay, but by no means was it fast. The Carmen Gear always grabbed my attention. I saw it on a TV show, just fell in love with it. There was something about it. The design of it, it was small. There was so much attention to detail. It didn't matter what angle you looked at it from. It was quite an attractive looking car. The appealing thing about owning the car is that it's, it has Italian design, which is just gorgeous to look at. But at the same time, there's the German engineering, which is dependable. It's hand-built. It was, you know, it's, it's basically one single piece of bodywork. And, you know, a lot of effort goes into producing something like that. Despite the simplicity, the attention to detail, just little features, the way the door handles are shaped and the buttons and switches for the lights, all of that was designed by hand. Someone pencil and paper and use their imagination to design this. I'm quite impressed by that. I've driven so many places and kilometers and big trips and, um, you know, for me, it, it's quite a dependable classic car. Driving that car is fun, whether you're out on the open road or driving through the city. It just, it looks good no matter where it is. It stands out. It feels good, feels special driving that car, because it is something special. People respond really well to it. They smile, they laugh, they ask questions. It's not a threatening kind of car. You see the car and you know you can talk to me, even if I look like a big guy with a big beard and you know, I'm a scary kind of guy, but they see me driving that thing and they know it's okay to talk to me. You know, they're not threatened in any way which I also like. I think that's great because through that I've, I've met really interesting people and made some great experiences. Hi, I'm Andy. I drive a 1960 Cumming Gear.